Should a statue be held responsible for someone's previous actions? Should a statue be held responsible? OK, so this will be to do with, the, uh, with David Livingstone. This mm. is a news story this week. A statue of David Livingstone was going to be removed, or is going to be removed, due to his alleged connection to the slave trade, even though he was an abolitionist, was very much anti-slavery. Uh, the monument was identified because of Livingstone's defence of cotton masters having worked at the age of 10 in a cotton mill uh, which, which had likely used West Indian cotton. Francis, what do you think? I mean, uh, like, like, you know, even though I don't agree, mm. I understand going after the slave traders, the Edward Colstons of the world. You know, these are the people who actually made money exploiting, in the most horrible and cruel way, these poor individuals. This is a person, an abolitionist. This is someone who... Got rid of all that, right? So d doesn't he get a bit of a pass? No, that's the whole point of it. Well, no. Once you've cancelled the big people, the people with the dodgy reputations, you can't stop there. <laughs> you can't. You're an activist, mate. You need to keep on activating. Do you know what I mean? That's how it works. So it's a supply and demand issue, Yeah, really. it's a supply and demand issue. That's what happened with Jussie Smoye, didn't he? When oh, that, he yes. Yeah, because, you he know, there wasn't... find any homophobic racist, so he had yeah. to hire two people to pay. <laughs> and because he's progressive, he hired two black men yeah, to do it. Good for him. No, that's, yes. What do you think, John? Yeah, I mean, the other part of that report was they also criticised the uh, Glasgow City Council because... At the time, they'd invested in a company. Right. And that company, in the future, then started uh, having uh, ships for the slave trade. So it's right, like okay, they're okay. criticizing a company for what investing it did later. Company, what it did afterwards. So, Wait, I mean, so I, I'm very confused about all this because there was a recent one at Imperial College in London where they're going to remove a statue, a bust actually, of Thomas Henry Huxley. Again, another abolitionist. Um, they were trying to pull down a statue of Abraham Lincoln in America. I think he had something to do with. Freeing a few slaves, didn't Possibly, he? Like, yeah. I, like, it's weird. Like, I, and again, like I say, like, by all means, go after the slave trader. But, you know, I don't even think you should tear those down because I sort of think that's part of our history too, even though it's not very nice. It's mm. part of our history. But going after, this doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. What, talk me through the logic. What's going through people's heads? They're mad. OK. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes a bit more sense. You know? Yeah. But, well, you know what it is? It's, it's the, they're grifters. And they've written this poor, and it's gilding the lily. They've, like you say, there's, it's never enough. Mm. Once you start down that road, no one's ever. Doesn't matter if you actually help to stop slavery. You're not pure enough, and that purity test will get ever. And that's why it's going to start eating itself. But why is there any connection? So any connection at all with the slave trade? Which I think pretty, pretty much anyone, if you find, go back far enough, yeah. you'll find something. Mm. Why is it that it's kind of selective? You know, I mean, the Guardian newspaper was founded by a man who made his fortune in the cotton trade. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when when, when uh, uh, the Civil War was on, the, the Guardian supported the South and, 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 and really had a go at Lincoln for freeing the slaves. So should we just ban the Guardian? Yes. Right, OK. <laughs> maybe, I mean, that maybe I would get on board with that. Yeah. It's just quite funny when they have all these articles in the Guardian talking about how great it is we're tearing down statues. Like, you guys had better watch your step, <laughs> right? Because you wouldn't be here if it weren't for the, the slave but you, trade. But you see, they've got the right opinions, and that's all that matters. Is that what it is? It's just literally all that matters, absolutely. Because, let's be fair, but, this is the home of the alt-right now, Andrew. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> this is where we are. It's such a misused term, isn't it? It but, is. But all, all of these publications, you know, the Guardian, the New Statesman, they are just becoming propaganda propagandistic, that's all it is now. But you say, you know, it's such a misused term, but this is what this all is, because everything is racist. But once you say everything is racist, then how can you possibly discern what racism is? And the reality is you can't. Yeah. If everything has links to slavery, what, you're going to cancel everything? Well... Which is what they're doing. I don't know. I mean, I've got, you know, I, I walked past that statue of Oliver Cromwell outside Parliament, I think. Oh, my ancestors, he, he had a go at them, he killed them. So should I... Yeah, I thought he was great. You thought he was good. <laughs> but you thought he was good for precisely that reason. Yeah, yeah. Because he had to go uh, in my big, lot. Big, big fan, big fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> don't, don't clip that. And... <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem about this show, is often you could easily clip things out of context and, uh, and yeah. completely just cancel you, destroy your career. I look forward to that.